Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. I want to give a warning as to why you should maybe not be embarking on the one meal a day diet journey. And this is something that I've talked about widely on my channel many, many times. And this is what a lot of people come to my channel specifically for, to learn about one meal a day. So I'm a huge advocate of it and I do eat one meal a day. I've been doing this for around 70 days now and it helped me lose weight, it helped improve my energy levels, boost human growth hormone levels, boost testosterone levels, increase my recovery time after fitness and increase the intensity of my fitness and my stamina endurance. The list just goes on and on and on. So why? may I not be recommending it to you even though I'm getting these benefits. So the first reason is you may not be ready to switch to one meal a day. For some people they can just go from eating multiple meals a day to switching overnight to one meal and be absolutely fine and some people cannot. So some people need to slowly transition towards one meal a day and this is what I did for around a year. I ate two meals a day and then my body went naturally in the direction of wanting to eat one meal a day and I found that it was easy. So what I say is if you switch to one meal a day and you're finding it really, really hard and your energy levels are low and your mood's all over the place and you're not feeling good at all, then stop doing it and just reduce down to two meals and stick to that for a while. And then slowly over time, you can try going to one meal a day. So do not force yourself to do it because yes, it works in some people and some people it may not. So do not get into dangerous territory. Slow and steady wins the race. So this is something to be very, very mindful of. And what I say is gonna be a lot easier for people that have excess body fat, because when you're in the fasted state, your body is burning body fat as fuel. So the more body fat you have, the more body fat that is being used as an energy source. So someone like myself that is super slim, for example, with extended water fasting, could fast no near as long as someone with more body fat. So yeah, someone that is just doing daily fasting with one meal a day can find it a lot easier than someone that is a lot skinny compared to someone that's got a lot of excess body fat. And the second reason is, and this is something that I found on my journey, if I wasn't eating enough calories, then I did feel absolutely awful and trying to drag it out the whole fasting window for around 22 to 24 hours every single day. It was just not working for me. I had to lie around and do absolutely nothing until it got to the end of my fasting window. And it wasn't maximizing my energy levels or my productivity. So it wasn't good at all. But I found once I started massively increasing my calorie intake, then I found that eating one meal a day was easy. So if you cannot eat an abundance of calories within one sitting and you're doing massively calorie restriction, then you should possibly not be doing one meal a day because yeah, it can just make you feel absolutely awful. But as again, with excess body fat, if you have a lot of excess body fat, you're not gonna need as many calories as someone else that is as lean as me. So you need to take that into consideration as well. And they are literally the only two reasons that I personally and professionally would warn people against eating one meal a day. So make sure that you remember what I've talked about and if you found that you've had some of those issues that I've mentioned and it's not working for you, then yes, yeah, switch to what is known as the 16-8 intermittent fasting methods. If you don't know about this, I'll put a link for a video here where I talk about it in full detail and how you can use it for serious weight loss. But yeah, I would say always try and strive forward and push forward to one meal a day because it does give you an extra boost with testosterone boosting effects in the body, human growth hormone benefit are increased as well and the reason why they are with one meal a day the longer you fast the more they increase and the same with insulin it goes even lower the longer that you fast and insulin sensitivity improves even more and the longer you're fasting the longer period of time you're burning body fat as fuel so it's going to give you even greater weight loss benefits alongside a whole host of other benefits as well and if you're someone that is new to one meal a day and you'd like to learn how you can get it to work in the most safe and effective way for you i will put a link up above for a video where i talk about how you can successfully sustain and maintain one meal a day long term to get the greatest benefits that you're looking to achieve from it short term and long term as well and if you would like to see what i would eat in day so you can see how many calories you may need to be eating. Then I'll put some video links at the end where I'll show you exactly what I eat in a day with my one meal a day plant-based 
vegan journey and yeah that is it for this video if you have any questions leave them down below as always and i'll get back as soon as possible if you like the video like it down below give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone you think needs to learn about maybe why they should not be eating one meal a day and if you haven't already click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more one meal a day informational videos from me on a regular basis what i eat in a day videos on my one meal a day journey calisthenics workout videos and many other videos to help you go in the direction of achieving and sustaining the fitness levels that you desire your dream body and the energy levels that you wish to have all day long so you can just do everything that you love to do and increase your productivity and just your way of life in general so if those type of videos sound good to you make sure you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and i have new ones coming on an every weekly basis so as always stay fit stay energetic and go and get those gains peace